In this video, we go on ladders, we go on roofs, and if you're not comfortable being on your ladder or your roof, don't try the things that we've done. Hi, I'm Chris Fox, and this is Northeast Tesla. Today, we're talking about pollen. It gets in everything, it goes on everything, and right now, it's on your solar panels. So, join me as we get it cleaned off. We're going to jump back into the video in just one second. First, I need to ask a favor. Below is my Tesla referral code. Please consider using my referral code if you're buying Tesla products. Now, the referral program changes all the time. And at the time of filming this video, if you're buying solar panels, solar roof, after activation, Tesla will award you $100. Now, Tesla has removed free supercharging. So if you're buying a Tesla Model S, Model 3, Model X, or Y, you use my referral code, you get a thousand free miles of supercharging. If you know someone who's about to make a Tesla purchase, please consider sharing my referral code with them. Lastly, it would really be a huge help to the channel if you could smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe so you know when I'm releasing new videos. I've got a lot of great content planned focused on solar, batteries, connected solutions, and my future Tesla. Model X. Maybe. Hopefully. Let's get you back to the video. Today we're going to be using a ladder, a hose, and a telescopic pole. We're going to strap that hose onto that pole and try to get that water all the way up to the second level, to the top of my roof, and clear off those panels. I'm using the Whistler brand extension pole. The link from Amazon will be below. As you can see, the pole itself extends out to 24 feet, but in its stored capacity it's 6.25. I have the tip angled down and the extension slightly out so I can start adding the hose to it. Line up the hose, line up the pole, and then you can start attaching tie wraps. Tie wraps will help secure it all the way down as you extend the pole longer and longer. Use a couple of chairs to help keep the extension even. It's a bright sunny day and the system is pulling about 6.0. I'm hoping we can do better. We have an 8.19 kilowatt system. Let's see what we can do. I'm hoping by going through this effort, cleaning off these panels, I'll increase my output from the 6 kilowatts that we're currently getting. Now, you can see there's a dusting of pollen all over these lower panels, as well as the upper panels. There's also some bird debris and just general dirt. In my neighborhood, there's been a lot of road construction, so a lot of that's getting put up into the air. I'm going to be using 20 times the speed at which I recorded this video to kind of get through it quicker. I doubt you want to sit for 15 minutes of me washing down the panels. But as you can see, as the water's hitting, a lot of that debris is washing right off. The key is using the pole to get as much as close as you can to the actual panels. I'm standing on a ladder from the ground level and reaching out over the panels. Yes, I could have climbed onto that first roof and done it from there, but I wanted to practice using the pole with the hose. You also want to wet down the rest of the roof as well. By getting the rest of the roof wet and washing all that pollen that's down low across the bottom, you're going to be able to clear off that pollen so it doesn't blow back onto the panels. Here you'll see I'm trying to wash the top section, but unfortunately at the angle I'm at and the distance I am, I'm not doing a great job. I'm going to need to move to the upper roof. Standing on the ground using the pole on a ladder wasn't really working. I wasn't getting the distance I needed. So I moved myself to the first roof and with the pole in hand I'm getting a lot closer to the panels with the pole. The goal is to get them all wet and then start working on driving that debris, the pollen, the, the, the um, bird droppings, and all the dirt and road debris that's been collecting get it to wash all the way down. There's separators between each of the panels that allows the water to drip down as well as that debris so you're not just washing it from one panel down to the next. As we're working hard we're getting rid of the bird debris and all the other pieces. Getting in close and putting that pressure right onto those panels. Working up just washing all the way down. One of the things you want to be careful of is making sure you're getting the areas around the frames. 
you'll find that the actual weather, the wind, um, and rain itself will help the pollen and dust collect inside the frame edges and then it'll dislodge and still cover the panels. So by getting in close and getting those frames, you're helping making sure that the entire panel is clean, not just the main surface of the glass. By working the top and all the way down, you're starting to eliminate all that pollen, all that dirt, and all those bird droppings. So, as we wrap up here, you'll see that they're all nice and clean at this point. So we started this effort at 6 kilowatts. Then, we cleaned them, and we're at 7.2. That's a pretty good improvement if you ask me. Thanks for coming to Northeast Tesla. Please like and subscribe so we can keep making content and you can keep coming back. And remember, safety first. If you don't feel comfortable being on a ladder or on your roof, don't try the things that I did. Your safety has to come first.